Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I overslept a little bit today. I was just really tired last night. Uh, today's Friday, October 1st. Currently it's 55 degrees. High today's 81. No chance of rain. 89% humidity. Zero mile per hour winds and 58 is uh, air quality. Um, yeah. I was just exhausted. I, I couldn't believe it. I slept until like 9.30 or later than that. I'm not for sure. I think it was a little later than that. Um, that's very unusual for me. I usually, I'm, usually I'm up by about 7.30, 8. It looks the same over there this morning. So far, nothing's got in here and uh, eaten on anything else. I'm looking good. I don't think they're too close together. Looks okay in here. A little bit of the seeds have come up. Not many more. Couple. I'll tell you what, they just don't germinate well at all. Mustard looks great. The kale's kind of, I don't know, it's not doing that great. Of course it got eaten on but I planted some new ones I don't really see I don't really see them coming up so I don't know what's up with that I see a few of them right there coming up maybe they're just now going to start to come up huh I harvested some banana peppers yesterday. Can't even tell it really. They're all over the place. Comet Suna looks okay. My little green beans are trying to grow. I don't like I said, I don't think they'll do anything though. And I put the forks in here. Uh To keep out I mean it's gonna make it if it's a chipmunk it can still get in here obviously but um, it might be aggravating for it to dig around and not hit one of these forks I'm moving these over a little but you can see the radishes coming up here I knew they'd come up pretty quick doesn't look like anything's been in here digging around anyway so I hope that I hope that helps it looks like I need to get some okra there's quite a few big ones I got a few these peppers here they're getting really big I mean look I got one from there see down here there's more than that that are big There's plenty of them, all I can say. There's several. There's one turning. 
Another big one. Oops. I put a weak solution of Miracle Grow on them the other day. I can't tell much difference in the lettuce, it grows really slow. Seems like this okra looks a little better than it did. See a lot of new growth right there. I see some of the radishes coming up that I planted. They just aren't doing that great over here. Those people are never going to do anything about that tree. It's pretty obvious now. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> I know it's killing our grass. The part, the part that's on our grass, it's killing it. I love all these flowers here. Like I said, there'll be a lot more. They grow so tall, they, they start to fall over though, especially if there's a big wind, you know, storm come up or something. Oh, I think I saw some new marigolds over here. I was gonna look at. Yeah. Look at these. You can see the holes in there. Something lives down under here. It must be chipmunks. But look at all those. Well, some of these have bloomed this morning. There's my bee friends. There's two of them in there. Another little bee. Let's switch places. This one's a little one compared to that other one's huge. They look, I don't know if they're the same or not. This one looks a little different. It has black on its bottom there, it's black. And this other one is, um, where'd you go? Oh, there it is. This one has stripes on its behind, little stripes. It's okay, I'm not gonna bother you. I'm just glad to see you here. Awesome. I think those two are different than each other. One's bottom was completely black and the other one had stripes on it. The smaller one did. I don't see all them uh, spiders because they came out here and mowed their lawn at 7.30 this morning. The people that mow their lawn. here at 7.30 mowing. So they mowed over all the poor old spider webs. We 
got things to do today, errands to run. First of the month stuff. Came out here last night and made a little short, but I hadn't sent it out yet because I already had two shorts yesterday. I've had these lights on over here, those lights on, and it was just the sound of all the insects and stuff. And I had, you know, of course, there's lights all the way around my garden now, so I showed all that. Those lights with the globe on them, they put out some light a lot more than some of the others. Okay, let's see here. We had Philly steaks last night. We used that meat from Aldi to make them and they were fantastic. I mean, I would definitely recommend trying that if you'd like to make your own Philly steaks. Uh, it's really awesome. I mean, check out the short that I did on it. Of course, Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews will be today. And I got a little bit of friend mail here and today's faith quote. Let's see here. This one's from C.S. Lewis. I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen. Not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Amen. And I got a Halloween card from Crystal, from Crystal's Pets and Plants. Here's what it looks like. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Halloween seems like a good time to tell you. You're frightfully nice to know. And I'm going to try to, let's see, I'm going to pick this up and do it. She's got little, look at the little spiders in there. They're cool. It says, just want you, just want to take the time to wish you a very awesome Halloween 2021. May all you ha all have yourselves a very happy Halloween to Mike, Joy, Logan, and Kitty. Crystal's Pets and Plants. Check out Crystal's channel. Um, she does a lot of different things. She's got a little garden on her porch, or not porch, on her balcony, and a container garden, and it's doing really good. Uh, she's got a, some awesome pets that uh, she shows those videos of, and uh, she just and she does uh, lives on Sunday, and she does her. Uh, garden updates on Monday so definitely go by and check out Crystal's Pets and Plants okay I think that's everything except for today's tidbits no press the wrong thing You gotta drink the coffee here. Okay. Hawaii plans to grow 100 million trees by 2030. Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources aims to grow at least 100 million trees by 2030. This initiative has been taken as a part of a United Nations project to plant one trillion trees across the globe within the next decade. The trees will help absorb carbon dioxide, the greenhouse gas that is primarily responsible for climate change. Why did it take them so long to figure that out, you know? I mean, can melting glaciers trigger earthquakes? Earthquakes occur when Earth's huge tectonic plates grind past each other. The immense weight of areas covered with ice a few thousand meters thick causes the land to sink. It also prevents tectonic plates from moving freely. But as the glacier melts, the ground springs back and causes the plates to shift, potentially triggering an earthquake. Great. 
already did that one. More San Diegans choose clouds over the sun. The May gray conditions that San Diegans experienced since Sunday began to disappear on Wednesday. May gray is a cool weather that arrives this time of year. NWS asked on Twitter whether people preferred May gray to, or the sun. 76% of respondents chose the May gray. Forecasters say people prefer more fall-like weather. <coughs> I got that one. The amazing geological wonder in central Italy. The enormous sinkhole Pozzo Santulo is located in Colapardo, Italy. It is one of the unique geological wonders of central Italy. The sinkhole is 300 meter wide and 40 to 70 meters deep. It formed after the roof of a cave collapsed and hence it has huge old stalactites in its parts. It also has another cave opening at the bottom. Study gray tits lay eggs early as climate warms. Oh, pretty. Oxford University researchers studied gray tits in Monday, I mean, in Oxfordshire, England. They found the birds lay eggs 16.2 days sooner as the climate has warmed. Something in 60 years. It's spring, as spring comes earlier each year, caterpillars that the great ticks, chicks eat are also arriving earlier, forcing them to lay eggs earlier. Shelf cloud glides over North Texas. Severe weather hit parts of North Texas early this week. Chad Casey's video from near Palo Pinto shows a shelf cloud floating across the sky while lightning flashes sporadically during the day. A shelf cloud is a low-hanging wedge-shaped formation that occurs along the leading edge of a thunderstorm. They announce the arrival of storms. NASA images show Hurricane Sam as seen from space. NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur shared three pictures of Hurricane Sam churning in the Atlantic as seen from the ISS. The images show the hurricane's vast clouds and distinct eye. Sam is currently located east of Puerto Rico without posing much threat to land. It is likely to bring high swells on the Atlantic Islands and the east coast of North America. What is an ice storm? When warm and cold air meet, the resulting weather phenomenon is an ice storm. It transfers snow in the clouds to rain before it hits the ground. But if the surface temperature is below freezing, that rain will quickly turn to ice once it hits the surface. Ice storms can damage power lines create ha and create hazardous driving conditions. A sea of stars in the Maldives. Maldives. A beach on the Maldives, Vadhu Island, is also known as a sea of stars. This beach is filled with glowing blue dots like a pool of floating fairy lights. These lights are caused by the bioluminescent creatures which contain a unique compound called luciferin. It causes a chemical reaction when exposed to oxygen and emits a beautiful glow. In 2009, Sumatra earthquake kills over 1K in Indonesia. Indonesian island Sumat Sumatra was hit by two massive earthquakes that cut off the Pandang city from the outside world on September 30, 2029. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake followed by a 5.5 tremor shook Pandang and its neighborhoods and buried over a thousand people under the rubble. USGS reported that the quake might have occurred from a thrust fault. All right, everyone, that's it for today's tidbits, and that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with somebody today, please. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you later on. God bless.